All right, guys, we're going to talk about K versus J or J versus K. Um, I have a few Seiko SKX009 here. The J model is the one on the strap because that's the only way they come. Um, honestly, I think Mark at Long Island Watch covered this probably the best. Now, there is a bunch of articles um, on watch forums, and then there's a you know, bunch of videos that this has all been covered, but... Um, I really think Mark did the best job because he's in the industry to the point where he has seen hundreds or more of these come through. Um, so I think he has a pretty clear understanding of what the J and K is. So his video is uh, great. I'll leave a link to it in the description. But um, speaking of Mark, this is a 009K that I did order from him recently. Um, this will be for a mod for a friend of mine. So... But I think mostly what you want to look at is uh, this stuff needs to come off. You know that stuff. But if you look at like the finishing, and you can see the brushing on the top side of the lug there, and then how it transitions. Here, let's zoom in. Where it uh, transitions from the brush to the polish, you can see it's uh, pretty clean. You can almost see how it uh, tapers though down there on the lug, especially on that side. A little bit on that side. So now we'll take a look at the J version. Not sure if you guys can tell. To me, it looks like a little bit cleaner job with the transition, um, but not enough. I mean, it could be just from watch to watch. So uh, this one has the. Arabic as the second language on the day wheel. And then, of course, it's going to say made in Japan down there on the bottom versus on these guys, you're going to see just the movement information. But the printing on the dial and everything should be basically the same. Uh, also, I guess this one says 21 joules on it, whereas this one doesn't. This is my older one that I also ordered from Mark, so it should be identical to this one. So there are some subtle differences. Um, but as far as you know, quality or if you're going to get anything different or better or anything uh, one over the other, I've had um, mixed review on that. This is, you know, this one's got a lot of wear on it, but. So um, this one's got some, you know, quite a bit of risk time on it. And I've actually opened this up and modded it and then demodded it, it back to its original state. So, and everything worked perfect on it with a, its transition. I also, let me zoom back out. I also, when I ordered this one with Mark, I, um, Asked him if he could find one with a little bit tighter bezel. And this one has a nice, smooth, resistant bezel action. Um, Doug's J version also has almost that same feel. I mean, it's pretty much a, a nice standard Seiko bezel action that you would expect. This new K version that I just got from Market Long Island, which comes in this uh, newer or generic style Seiko box. There's so many different Seiko boxes out there depending on how they're packaged and everything. I don't know if you can hear that. This bezel action is a little bit looser. Um, I wouldn't say it's loose. I've actually had some J's and K's in the past where the bezel action was really loose and I'm not a big fan of that. Um, I like a little bit of resistance on it. Um, and this one will work just fine. Uh, I'm gonna end up changing all that out anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, and I and you can kind of fine tune or tweak that uh, a little bit. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you real quick. Um, you know, a couple of K versions, and then of course the J version. So you know which one you want. Um, I think it's gonna come down to personal preference, really. Because they're the same watch, you know, with some subtle differences. Obviously, you have the uh, 21 joules on the J version, and you're going to have 
Uh, I'm not sure if all of them have it, but this one definitely has the Arabic as a second language. Pretty sure on uh, most of these K versions, uh, the second language is um, Spanish. Yeah. So I don't know if they did any uh, Roman numeral ones in them. You know how that monster I had in the past that had the uh, Roman? Um, that would be pretty cool if they did. And I'm sure you could probably change them out too. But Anyway guys, I'm uh, going to try to catch up on doing videos. So I'm like way behind. I've been working a lot. So, And um, like I said, this is Doug's watch. So this guy... Um, is actually for sale and you can see it's brand new so um, I think I have a box for it I'm not 100% sure so if you're inter interested in getting this guy um, you know hit me up I'll put my email in the description you can set something up and you could uh, be the proud owner of a J model because that seems to be a big deal for a lot of people if not for me personally even my monster is in the J model um, I've had actually better luck with the monsters on the K model, and that is just my first-hand experience with all of them. So, um, the knife in the background, uh, I started carrying this. This was something I had laying around from a while ago. I'm a big fan of the um, CRKT, the IKBS system, so I will be probably talking about a few other knives soon if you guys are interested in that as well. Talk to you soon. Almost left you guys hanging on the loom shot. Of course, the loom is about the same.